Yeah, I can stop. You accused my guest of murder, Inspector. You may be the fair-haired boy of Scotland Yard, but your manners... Oh, 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 me <laughs> What is it? <laughs> Isn't that a little precious, the fair-haired boy of Scotland Yard? Would you prefer something more macho, like the rambling wreck from Georgia Tech? <laughs> Skip that speech. Uh, take it from your line to the maid. She will be standing here. Warren, Warren, get up, get up, get up. And be the maid. According to your story, Fifi, you were in the servants' quarters being dandled on the knee of the butler. Are you really going to have a butler in a murder mystery? It is pretty trite, isn't it? Paul, can I speak to you for a minute? Uh, Paul, actors are notoriously insecure. Criticism upsets them. So, for their sake, if you have any more comments... Oh, I do. Then I'd prefer to see you in the hall. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> now then, places, everybody, we'll take it from the top. Indeed, one incidental function of modern literature has been... has been to ask the question, Damn it, Grace, where are you? Uh, no, no, strike that. <laughs> one incidental function of modern literature has... It's me, Paul. Well, it's about time. Do you realize how long... I'm five minutes late. Yes, and I've been... Really? Only five? Well, it seemed longer. Well, with time well spent, I got something for you. I'm sorry, Grace. <laughs> What'd you get me? I had a copy of Leon's play done in Braille. Leon's play? <laughs> That way you can have fun playing all the other parts while you help me with my lines. Well, forget it. I'm not having anything to do with that stupid play. Oh, why are you being so petty? Is your nose a little out of joint because you weren't included? Oh, that's ridiculous. I'm not going to even dignify that. Then why are you acting so childish lately? I am not acting childish. Yes, you are. No, you... I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> Anyhow, is it childish for me to expect you to do your work? Name me one job of yours I've neglected because of the play. Well, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not... Uh, I can't remember every little thing. Name one. All right. Maybe I can't, but there's an attitude problem here. <laughs> I'll say. And I'm not putting up with it anymore. Meaning what? Meaning... You're going to have to choose between this job and that play. Oh, I had no idea you felt that way. Gosh, if it's really come to that, well, then, of course, there's no question. What are you trying to say, Grace? There's no business like show. <laughs> Young Andrew is going to learn a lot about love and responsibility. As Andrew grows, so will his responsibility. And that's when Nationwide Insurance will be able to help him, as we've helped his parents and his grandparents. Nationwide Insurance has been helping people take care of their responsibilities for almost three generations with blanket protection for their lives, homes, families, cars, and businesses. Nationwide is on your side. The doctor said I could take Anison 3 for my headaches. It's 100% aspirin-free. The same aspirin-free acetaminophen that's in Tylenol tablets with no coating. But Anison 3 adds a protective coating for easier swallowing. Take 3. Anison 3. I tried it. Now I believe it. Denerex tingles. Tells me it's doing more. Regular head and shoulders, no tingle. Both have dandruff medicine, but Denerex adds an extra anti-itch medicine and conditioner, too. Goodbye, head and shoulders. Hello, Denerex. Financial good news from today's Chevrolet. Announcing low GMAC 7.9. Annual percentage rate financing on every new Chevy car. 7.9 on Sprint. Spectrum, Nova, Chevette, Cavalier, Celebrity, Camaro, Monte Carlo, Caprice, Corvette. Low, 7.9% financing on every Chevy car. Other rates are available and vary with length of contract. Financial good news from today's Chevrolet. Last Falls North and South was the most watched miniseries of the season. On Sunday, May 4th, a new adventure begins. Lloyd Bridges. Morgan Fairchild, Lee Horsley, Linda Evans, James Stewart, Jeannie Francis, Kirstie Alley, Hal Holbrook, Jerry Garber, James Reed, Leslie Ann Down, 
and Patrick Swayze. Based on John Jake's epic saga, Love and War, now comes North and South, book two. Tonight's the big performance. <laughs> what brings you up there? Well, I, I was just thinking that now that we have the kitchen ceilings looking so nice, I thought perhaps the wall... Mrs. Might... Swinford, didn't you go to that job counselor? Oh, mercy, yes, weeks ago. But he wasn't very encouraging. Did he test you? Every kind of test. <laughs> Words, numbers, shapes. Pictures of little ink blots doing disgusting things. Psychological. You may call it that. I call it filthy. And then he fed the results into a computer to find my ideal job category. I don't see any flaw in that. That's because you've never had a machine tell you to choose between cage cleaner and sell your organs. Oh. Mrs. Swinford, I'm... Well, let's face it, Paul, I'm unemployable. Oh, no, no, that, that's not true. I'll, I'll bet there's a lot of things you can do. Mm. For instance, what about stenography? Stenography? Well, sure, suppose you had to take dictation. Say, an article I'm writing that's already two weeks overdue. I bet you'd be great. Come on, give it a try. Oh, well, all right. Okay, great. Paragraph. One incidental function of modern literature. You know, it's very kind of you to give me this chance. What? Oh, well, don't mention it. Okay, now, comfy? Mm, yes. Good. So, one incidental function of modern literature... Yes. ...has been... <laughs> ...has been... <laughs> ...to ask the question. Yes. Why did traditional literary forms become sterile? Yes. And, and can we reinvigorate a moribund genre? Oh, oh that's wonderful. Did he get it? Well, I'm not sure I understood every word, but I was just mesmerized by your eloquence. No, no, I mean, did you get it down on paper? <laughs> Why, have you forgotten it already? <laughs> Just, uh, just out of curiosity, did they tell you how much you could get for your gallbladder? I'm no good as a secretary. I'm no good without one. Well, we both know who you need. She made a choice. You made her make a choice. She made me make her make... <laughs> Forget it. Anyhow, how do you know that? She calls every night to find out how you're doing. Does she think I can't get along without her? You're looking at me reproachfully, aren't you? <laughs> I'm supposed to admit that I was wrong and that I miss her, too. I know this technique, Mrs. Swinford. Great uses it all the time. I might as well tell you I'm immune to it. All right, I was wrong. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. How do I make it up to her? Well, you could go and see her in the play tonight. Oh, no, anything but that. <laughs> I'd rather be stuck in an elevator with a harmonica player. Oh, please, Paul, it would mean so much to her. I suppose you're right. That's what I'll have to do. Actually sit through Leon's play. <laughs> do I have to applaud? <laughs> it would be a step in the right direction. <laughs> Believe me, Paul, go and see that play. You'll sleep better. Obviously, you've read Leon's work. 